The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And what do I have here? Oh, I need to get this. Eh, it didn't have everything I had up. And of course, it doesn't matter where you're at as long as you're here at this time. <coughs> the following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So we've had a market that's tried to push lower. We're back to flat, basically, on the S&P. Um, no volume, pretty much up and down early in the market. We're still off 18 on the NASDAQ. Um, I'd been watching Apple. Uh, it really, it had been kind of all over the place. I still see options point to 172.50 for the expiration today. So this may be a small bump before the close uh, where we sell into it. But uh, it's pretty accurate, and it pretty much has a fairly uh, large shadow over the rest of the market. So I tend to watch options on it going into each Friday more than anything else. But uh, you don't have a lot of juice uh, off these highs. I uh, just had kind of everybody give up. Not usually a low in the market. Generally, lows in the market come when everybody gets bearish. And one of the reasons why I didn't cover any of my short positions yesterday was that uh, we had about a put call ratio of about, I think it was 0 0.26, 0 0.29. Anyway, 29% people buying um, uh, puts in the, uh, in the VIX. And that's just so low for a sell-off to think that that's you know that no one's interested and no one thinks the market's going lower um and when i say no one i'm going to say 80 probably 80 percent of the folks don't think that are in that market don't think it's going to go any lower or a whole lot lower or they'd be out there buying those vix uh puts and they weren't so we'll see what we have by the end of the day today but again I'm thinking we're uh, Apple and Microsoft uh, probably close a lot more uh, closer to, for Microsoft, a lot closer to 305 than it's 307 to, uh, right now, and Apple a lot closer to 172.50 than it's uh, 173.15 at the moment. Now, maybe someone was going to come out with some false news or maybe even surprise real news and not fake news, but... Uh, I just don't see a lot going on here before the end of the day, other than another yet attempt of about three I've seen today that have all kind of failed. And uh, We get back under 173 on Apple. I'm going to assume that is just one more failure on the on the pop higher. What we haven't done is gone down in what I thought we do, which is a head on closer to 170 on Apple today, which is the low end of the production for the options. The high is 172.50. So I'm pretty sure we're going to hit that. Now the question is, do we get that sell off before the end of the weekend? Do we get everybody deciding that they need to uh, uh, buy puts for next week? If we do, then that's probably some kind of low. But I haven't seen any evidence of it. Uh, volume both up and down has been light. That's a good sign of indecision. Uh, low puts on the VIX means that they're bearish. No, it means that they're not bearish. VIX, uh, VIX is just the out of the money puts and calls, the premiums, just the premiums. So what you look at that in the VIX is how many people are buying out of the money puts and how many people are buying out of the money pre uh, calls. And that tells you if they're buying three to one on the out of the monies, uh, as they were yesterday for calls, that tells you everybody thinks that they're bullish. And and no one's, they're thinking that some kind of low has come in, therefore you haven't gotten a low. The VIX is 500 stocks. It is the premium on all 500 stocks of out of the money uh, puts and calls that are written. 
Um, I don't say so much the VIX is the fear gauge that everybody talks about. I do think it is uh, at its extremes, especially as I look at it, when everybody's on one side, everybody buys calls, everybody buys puts. One of the best indicators that you've got at least a uh, short term, but probably more a medium term low for a handful of days or maybe the week. But, uh, yeah, um, probably the biggest misconception is no one knows what the VIX is. And although I publish it from time to time, it is a mathematical uh, approximation. It's not what everybody thinks it is. And that's the biggest problem. They don't understand it. Um, if anybody really wants these, I've, I, I, from time to time, tell them I'll give them the link. But there's a white paper from the VIC, or about the VIX uh, from the CBOE. And yes, there's equations and math in it. And generally, the people that are technical traders tend to be the least technical when it comes to getting into the weeds on mathematics. But understand the VIX is a totally different thing than just about anything else you're going to look at in the market. And to under, really understand it, you almost need to get a spreadsheet out and go figure it out yourself. I mean, uh, go through the mathematical permutations of it and understand it. But it is a oscillator of, I think, uh, 24 and 36 days. Maybe it's 24 and 32. I know they changed it. I think it, was, it used to be like 45 and 24. I think it's uh, 24 and 36 now. They changed that, I think, in 2017 to make it a little snappier, make it come back in and not have such huge uh, uh, permutations. But <clears throat> getting in and out of something like that or the UVXY means that you better know where the waves are because there's a wave on that 24-day uh, average and there's a wave on that 36-day average. And um, sometimes the waves are nice and smooth they're all coming out of the same direction sometimes uh, they're coming out of counter directions one coming from the east and one coming from the north and uh, eh, it can be a lot of chop uh, and people will especially in the UVXY will go I just don't understand why it went down well maybe you were <coughs> on the wrong side of that 36 day part of that moving average and you were right on the 24 day and it gets wiped out that's generally what it is so without knowing those parts, it is a big issue. Um, uh, uh, the VIX, you can't really trade the VIX, so all it is is a number, right? You can trade the UVXY, and you used to be able to trade other things. So that's it. Rate of change seems to affect the VIA a great deal. Need to study the formula. Yeah. Um, like I said, if anybody wants it, email me at path at tfnn.com, and I'll dig it up during the break. But there's a lot more to understanding the VIX. And understand it's not the market. It is a mathematical representation of the market. And if you don't understand that, uh, there's a famous saying that says that the map is not the territory. That's another good one to look up. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Basically flat on the S&P, still down a little bit on the NASDAQ. Um, we'll see what next week uh, comes in. Of course, uh, Wednesday is Delta Neutral Day. Uh, options expiration is the 14th of the month, so very early. It's also a day earlier than normal because uh, that is the three-day weekend for Easter weekend. Uh, so we're getting ready for that. But uh, as I said, I'm not uh, uh, one that uh, is very bullish here. Um, we are kind of about, what, 15, 18 points off the low on the S&P, but the volume is fairly low. Anyway, we'll continue to watch it, but uh, I think a good indication is if Apple can get going here. And so far uh, in this bounce, it's up about 30 cents, maybe 40 cents after the whole move in the S&P. So we shall see. But uh, I'm kind of thinking more on the long term than the next 30 minutes or an hour. I don't have anything now that will expire today uh, other than I bought Apple uh, 175 puts uh, when it was printing above 174 and holding on to them and seeing what happens uh, into the close on those uh, since I'm fairly well into the money on them. And unless they go the other, you know, they'd have to go to probably about 174 before I would uh, get out. But uh, pretty, pretty nice setup, I think. Uh, but we shall see. But uh, one of the reasons is options are so really good at predicting on Apple and some of the other high dollar stocks. And so maybe some of the other ones are going to move the market up a little bit. Uh, longer term, I don't see anything that has changed my view uh, that it is particularly dangerous uh, through uh, probably the first week of May now. Uh, doesn't mean that every day will be a down day. But uh, for the most part, I'm going to sit on my hands with my short positions that I've amassed over the last uh, four or five days and uh, move on. 877-927-6648. Uh, okay, where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Okay. A uh, bunch of people ask about this white paper. Um, as I said, I'll bring this up a couple times a year. I'm wondering how many people would really get into it because that's what you're going to see. <laughs> and most people, if they ever did learn what those nasty little symbols were, are out there. 
but uh, it breaks it down. It makes it fairly easy, but really to understand it, you almost have to uh, go line by line through this and make a spreadsheet of it, and then you'll really understand it. Uh, most people don't, and that's why they're so kind of uh, scratching their head on the way that uh, the VIX moves and the way uh, that the uh, UVXY moves in different moves out here. But it's got a good ex explanation, and it goes through line by line on how it's all figured. Even though you've got these big calculations, it breaks them down into ones that uh, I, I would imagine an eighth grader could probably figure out if they were uh, – motivated to but uh very good paper white paper from the cboe on how it's actually made what it is and how uh over time if you uh understand it you'll understand the way it moves okay uh to, 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 okay so what else do we have here oh um uh, was going to talk uh, about uh intel and amd and a little bit of nvidia uh, that we had earlier. And the uh, question was, why was AMD getting pounded kind of earlier in the day? And there's a few things going on, a little bit of uh, hangover from the days before. It's a down, AMD's down 2%. But uh, several things going on. One, Intel has pretty much let everybody know uh, that they're going to be dropping prices on especially the consumer stuff, but also... Uh, on uh, some of the server stuff as AMD becomes more competitive with it. Uh, for Intel, of course, that's probably dead money now for a while. INTC, is that right? IN, yeah. Or is it IT Intel? INC, right? Man, I'm questioning myself now on the symbols. You know I'm starting to lose it. INTC, yeah, that's it. Uh, okay. Sometimes symbols just look wrong. Anyway, it's off a buck 70. Um, anyway, there was a, a there was a couple things. One, we talked a little bit about it, and that was an organized short uh, short uh, uh, run on uh, AMD yesterday, uh, ringleaded by uh, the name begins with a G, just escapes me at the moment. Um, anyway, I think a lot of people were uh, were uh, participating on it, but what they probably knew and we didn't yesterday was that a big company in China was coming out with a NVIDIA clone. And why that's probably important is that the NVIDIA card is better than the AMD uh, for a couple of reasons, mostly for machine learning. Um, some people will disagree with me for that, but for me, um, that's it. Anyway, uh, this company in China hired one of the NVIDIA X employees and they've made a clone. Now that clone uh, of that card doesn't compete with the top end of AMD, so they don't have to worry. But at the low end, yeah, it does. And because AMD still hasn't got a foothold in machine learning, uh, these this Chinese company has made all the software for machine learning and uh, uh, games pretty much compatible. So I'm going to say this, that on a kind of a low end, this Chinese company has made a video card that's a clone of low end NVIDIA cards. Well, this kind of puts a wrench in AMD because it was always the second banana for video. But now it may have a lot more competition because if you didn't have the money for the NVIDIA, you bought the AMD for 100 bucks less. Now there's going to be a card uh, in there that may even be yet another option. Now, no real plans yet on uh, them shipping those to the United States. But uh, over Europe uh, and uh, Asia and Australia, uh, on that hemisphere, there's apparently a lot of plans for these guys to sell stuff. Probably because NVIDIA would probably uh, prevail in lawsuits here in the United States. They are not shipping here yet. Um, but uh, their patents are probably not as strong, uh, probably worthless in China, because China is not going to go up against one of their own companies. But in other places where money is tighter than the United States, probably a big deal. So that. Now, Intel, 
uh, also has its own problems and that it stated it's not going to even come out of this until 2004. So it's kind of like a lot of dead money. Uh, let's take just a couple quick looks at uh, these as we're going through them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're just on the downside of it. You don't have a lot of volume today, but wasn't expecting it on Friday for NVIDIA. Let's take a quick look at in, at uh, AMD. Uh, yeah, you're headed back to 101. Not a big surprise in that. And Intel. When we come back, we'll do a little bit of history, and then we'll uh, go to some more charts. But uh, Intel, all these things. Nice big candles on the way down. We'll be back fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And before we get to uh, a little bit of history, uh, Eddie wants to know, uh, is there anything to worry about uh, this in NVIDIA on the China knockoff going to affect NVIDIA share price? Um, as long as there's a uh, uh, there's more demand than supply, probably not. Uh, the biggest problem that I think a lot of these folks, including these knockoff guys, are going to have is there's a shortage of silicon wafers. And if you don't understand semiconductor manufacturing, they make a lot of things that look like CD, ROM, disks, 
and they put all the they uh, etch uh, circuitry on it. Then they cut those up into little squares, uh, and uh, then they attach little tiny wires to them, and then they put them in a package that's probably plastic some kind and put little legs on it that you can solder to to put it on a circuit board. Well, if you don't have the silicon, you don't have anything else to put it on. You can't get uh, average run-of-the-mill silicon. It's got to be pretty perfect. And there's just a shortage of that. So as long as there's continued shortage, everybody's going to be fighting over that stuff at some level. But NVIDIA has made a determined change to go to the high end of the market, including to the server part of the business. Um with some new chips, and that's really what you got your big pop on. Uh, if you actually look at the chart on NVIDIA, it does look much better than AMD. You had a nice move up on the 24th with 87 million shares. Coming back into it with 37 million shares. Now, in a bad market, you maybe have the nicest neighborhood, and it's still a uh, nicest house in the neighborhood, but it's still a crack house, uh, a crack neighborhood. And that's it. Um, so I'm not a big fan of being long anything here. Uh, the longer this goes on, the more that these can crack. So not a big fan out here. Uh, okay, well, we're up about eight points now on the S&P cash. So they're giving a little bit more than I thought out here. Okay, eh. we shall see. It came late in the day. I'm still going to stay short if I can through all the way through May. Uh, but that's awful hard. Long time away. Okay. Uh, other questions out here. Um, yeah. And so the silicon is still an issue for other companies. Uh, there's a lot of discussion right now about that for Micron. Uh, it is lower today. You didn't have a lot of volume. But again, I don't know if there's a lot of upside. You may be finding areas where you might want to be buying the downside on these. I just don't think that there's that much upside. I had some reversals in some of the stocks that were higher this morning, uh, and uh, that included uh, in uh, Cameco. Uh, it's back up into its previous high with about 6 million shares compared to uh, just under 9 million shares back here on March 23rd. So it's still, you know, it's broken out. It came back. You had your opportunity to buy under 27 bucks. In fact, you got to 26.16. Uh, uh, but now it's just going to have to probably consolidate this out for a while. Okay, so what else do we have? Oh, need to do a little bit of history. So uh, let's see about that. Uh, ah, there we go. And it's all a little bit of history. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 2004, Google launches Gmail. In 1976, Apple incorporates. Uh, that's 1976, April 1st. But uh, what I want to talk about is Jack, uh, and I'm not exactly sure on the pronunciation of his name, Don Garia. Uh, this gentleman wrote algorithms that sped up algebraic calculations at the heart of most of scientific computing, but bigger. And the reason that he won the Turing Prize from Google uh, I think on Wednesday, and got a, a cool check for a million dollars, is he also helped develop a message passing interface, simply known as MPI. There's variants of that now, but they're all based on his original work. They require to spread a single computing job across thousands of processors. I think he wrote that in 2014, or 20, yeah, 2014. And when we look at the cloud computing and how it came on, a lot of people don't understand that this single um, algorithm for handling spreading work across multiple uh, systems uh, is at the heart of all the money made in web uh, in uh, cloud computing these days. And the whole reason behind all the uh, a lot of the new stuff that we see uh, on the computing side that you as a user probably just ignore. But uh, eh, a hero on this day, which is normally one where people have an economy with the truth uh, and maybe put something on your back that says kick me. But I will not do that because after two o'clock, it is gauche 
to be continuing on with April 1st pranks. Okay, let's go back and look at it. Um, okay, we're up 10 points. No volume, though. There was no volume up. There was no volume down earlier. Um, seven point, let's call it 7.5 billion shares. But it's been quiet since about noon on both the pushes higher and the pushes lower. So not expecting a great deal. Let's go back here and look. Uh, yeah, well, Apple is getting it going. But uh, I was looking for lower. I'll, I'll sit on my hands for a while. Uh, 877-927-6648. So I think we got some of the questions out here. Uh, to, to, tomorrow, amazing ARC uh, stocks are hold, uh, holding up as uh, someone's trying to prop them up. Okay, got that. Got that. Uh, okay, got that. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, and I sent it to him. Okay, so we got all those questions. You can email me or ask me in the den. I know someone did earlier. So let's go back here at the very beginning because I know there's another question out here. Okay. Okay, question from Z about Qualcomm, uh, Q-C-O-M uh, is the first one. And then there's another one out here that I know I missed because I saw it earlier. Maybe I'll find it. Uh, okay, 207, there it is. Okay. Uh, okay, would I be long planet here? Okay, so I'll get that next. Okay, um, Qualcomm, just like just about everything else out here, uh, coming back and retesting the previous low. Uh, that's March 15th, 139.05. Um, with 13 million shares, the problem is you got 13.2 million shares today. So you wanted to see this come in with lighter volume. Even if you take the candle of the 14th of March, that had 16 million shares, you're probably going to match that today. So it doesn't look good. Uh, there's a lot of these companies, I think, uh, when it comes down to it, but it's probably going to be a lack of silicon wafers in the next quarter that keeps the keeps the lid on semiconductors. We'll be back after this. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And we have uh, a couple of questions uh, about gold. Uh, I will homogenize them into uh, one. Uh, we did buy the GDXJ uh, in the newsletter yesterday, uh, and I was in at about an average of 47. Uh, we sold it here not too long ago. And the reason why is gold's down 25, but uh, uh, GDX is up 2%. So what's going on here? I have no idea. All I know is generally when I don't know the answer to something, uh, and I'm lucky enough to be on the right side of the trade. Uh, and the charts on something like the GDXJ look really good. Uh, but you get a kind of a failure into a weekend on gold. I don't know what to do. So I take the money off the table. Generally, I have kind of an idea. Even if I'm on the wrong side, I'm on the wrong side for a reason. Uh, and that it's going to correct itself. I kind of know. But uh, Jesse Livermore had a line in his book, Reminiscence of a Stock Operator, no prognosis, no profit. So it could go to the moon. It could drop five bucks. I dislike it when gold is down 25 bucks and the gold miners are up strongly as they are now. Um, they call it cognitive dissonance. But uh, I don't know. It makes my head hurt. I'll stick with what's making me money now. 877-927-6648. Uh, uh, and we can come back. Uh, up 11 points on the S&P cash. So we'll see. I just, This looks to me like probably what this market wants to do is close out flat. So maybe we get a doji out here uh, today. Uh, let's take a look at the SPY real quick and see. Um, we get a doji out here, maybe, um, and yeah, it'll be a little bit more of a of a tomb of a hanging man, but uh, that could be the halfway move in to the what I think is the move next week, and that would take you on the spies back down to probably about 4:35. So we shall see Monday morning, but I don't see any reason to uh, if you're thinking a little longer term of covering any shorts here at the moment. But uh, if you're trading on a 15 minute bar, that's a, another thing altogether. Uh, da, 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 okay. Uh, okay. Question about the IBB from Sam. And you can email me too at path at tfnn.com. Okay. You're just up against resistance, uh, which is this gap down that goes back uh, to February 10th and the 11th, of which you had about three and a half million shares. Uh, the last few days, 2.7 million shares, 2.1 million shares, 2 million shares today, uh, trying to push up on 1.6 million shares. Um, you know, just up against resistance. Maybe you could get 138 on them. On the IBB, I just don't see a lot of juice out here. 
and a lot of risk appetite. But uh, eh, things can change quickly in the market. A uh, question from Judy about DLR, digital uh, reality. Uh, these guys uh, have a lot of places for uh, web farms and uh, other kind of big installations. A uh, lot like this one just up against very uh, heavy resistance uh, down on the 10th of February on 1.4 million shares. Today you're up on about 460,000 shares. So again, some of these stocks are pushing higher. They're just not pushing higher uh, with any kind of gusto today. Uh, let's take a quick look at the XLE as we go around the bases here. Okay. Uh, well, you're down. You're really not doing anything. You're just hanging at the highs. I don't see any reason to sell it. Um, the longer it hangs out here, the more likely it's just going to jump up one day. So if you're in this for a while, it's much different than if you bought it a day or two ago. But uh, I don't see any reason to back off on energy. It will probably, uh, on the first bad news, gap up. And uh, on this at uh, 77, 78, uh, could it gap up to 80, 81? Yeah, I don't think there's any problem with that. Uh, okay, I got some more emails here. Okay, take a look at UNG. Okay, well, it went a little bit farther than I thought a couple of weeks ago. We talked about uh, coming up to this gap, and it's right there. It was either coming up to the one at 1750, and once it gapped over that, um, you were kind of in the clear. Now you've come up to this double gap that goes back to the 28th of, no, uh, of October, excuse me, 28th of October. You were down with 10.6 uh, million shares. You're up uh, on about 4.6 million shares. That would probably be the end of this run that started back on the 15th. So, yeah, it's probably time to ring the register. You're right at maximum resistance. Uh, we're coming into the springtime. Um, so you probably got uh, about as much wood on the, base, uh, on the uh, ball as you could probably get on this. Uh, now, if you're talking about an investment, maybe it goes a lot longer. But uh, natural gas probably going to wane a little bit in strength. Um, I wouldn't be short it. But uh, certainly crude is probably going to pick up uh, the lion's share over the summer of being a little bit stronger um, now that we're in that. Uh, do you think healthcare stocks like UNH doing well so because the elective procedures have been limited? Uh, we talked about this uh, last year, maybe two years ago, when we were going into um, the uh, um, into the uh, uh, pandemic. And yes, my my nephew works for a big hospital uh, around New York, uh, and uh, he manages uh, a lot of this stuff. And he's got six or seven can't remember right now, six or seven hospitals that report back to him, and he does a lot of the work on uh, applying for uh, the reimbursements for these insurance companies. And uh, yeah, he said they're all loving it. It's been nothing but a gold mine from them since the start of the pandemic. And what he's looking for is a lot of these folks have probably died off because they should have had their operation and didn't get it. But there's gonna be a tidal wave probably this summer and that tidal wave is going to be all these people with put off uh, operations and they're going to just come in one after the other. So he's thinking that probably that now, especially since he's in the New York area, he sees that waning. It's already waned here in Florida. Uh, they're back on operating because I've got a friend that's a nurse, uh, an operational nurse, operational surgery nurse. What do you call them? Anyway, I'll have to ask her again, but a nurse and in surgery uh and she's been nothing but busy uh, but she's had really kind of a couple of years of light duty anyway we'll be back in a minute
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we come back in to the close out here, uh, we're up only about six points now on the S&P cash and NASDAQ flat. Uh, gold is still down 25 bucks. Crude's just a hair under 100 bucks, 99.64. We'll see how that goes. I think maybe by next week, we'll probably see the low for any uh, of the new oh, news overhang for uh, strategic pol uh, petroleum reserves dumping out there. Um, in the past, it's been a big hammer to keep the, the uh, price down, but they really have never uh, released as much as they said they ha were going to. Um, so maybe that'll be one of those things that every time it goes up, they will actually release some to try to control or top out crude. But uh, long term, that's not going to hold. They're going to have to have something to put uh, back in what they took out, and uh, it will probably not be at a convenient time. Uh, but the good part is most of that oil that we stuck in there is at, uh, what, a third of the price uh, that crude is now. So not bad there. Government will make off like a bandit, uh, at least at some level. 877-927-664. Well, I'm done for the day. Really, I'm done for the week. How could you say it? It's April 1st. I didn't pull any tricks on anybody. I was a good boy. Uh, the market uh, is 
probably not going to make us any happy if you're bearish or bullish. Uh, looks like it's going to close at least in the next uh, 15 minutes. Looks like flat on the day. Uh, could be, especially if we get a little bit more of a doji, could be the halfway move and a move down, as dojis often are. I continue to be rather bearish and probably think that bearishness continues on for the first week of May. In the meantime, sell when you can, not when you have to. And we'll see a bright, sunshiny and polished and shiny on Monday. Mm -hmm.